Yeah, you can't get an LS1 anymore. No, uh, no. Mine's, a, mine's a 2000, so that's seven. almost 20 years ago now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so we use a 6.2 liter th uh, LS3s. Okay. Um, mainly because they have uh, almost the same torque curve as the LS1. It comes up at about 1600 RPM and stays pretty well level to about 4500, then drops off again a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> the LS1 was about the same way. Came up about 1000, 1200, then right across to 4500 and dropped off. Yeah. So, yeah. It, it's a little bit of give up, but uh, works pretty good. Right, right. Um, we used to build a, um, a PSRU, prop speed reduction unit, to go on the front of the engine, uh, or in case of the back, where the bell housing is. Um, Can you show me that? Yep. It's our gearbox. Yeah. Right underneath there is the extra clutch we were looking at a while ago. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's the interface here. Takes place in the flywheel on the engine. We use our flywheel instead of the GMs. And the system is Totally self contained. Yeah. So, tell me about this uh, gear reduction box then. It's yeah. using uh, straight cut gears instead of aluminum, no, aluminum cut housing? Gears. Yeah. CNC uh, case, uh, straight cut spur gears. We have a company uh, that builds our gears uh, for our application. Okay, you got them heat treated and everything, I'd assume, yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's an aircraft gear company. The numbers well, up here in Illinois. I never can remember the name. <laughs> but, um, uh, they make the gear sets for us. Uh, so 1.667 to 1 gear reduction. So, you know, 4,500 on, on the engine is 27, 27, 50 on a prop. Gotcha. Yeah. Right where the prop wants to run, right where the engine wants to run. Okay. Yeah. You take off, yeah. Vlog it pretty good. You get up to the altitude, pull it back to about 3,200. And somewhere around. <laughs> about 3,000 to 3,500. Most airplanes have a sweet spot. Okay. Um, so you'll find what's the Good best, cruising altitude. Best cruising, cruising speed for your engine with your airplane. Different color. Um, and, you know, away you go. Okay. Now it looks like the throttle body's different, or is that just a linkage that's... Uh, oh, you got an electronic... Uh, no, that's a prop governor. Car and we use oh, prop governor, yeah, okay. We use hydraulic prop... Uh, got this is what props. it is. I mean, uh, yeah. On the other side of here is our oil pump. Right yeah. Totally so self-contained gear system. Uh, 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 we use synthetic gear oil. Uh-huh. Uh, pumps through it, 40 PSI oil. Uh, oiling the bearings all the time. <laughs> You got 40 PSI oil. Well, why don't you just feed it to a prop governor, take it up to about 2,000, and then run it to a prop? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we got it there. Why use it? Why not use it? And then can you demonstrate the variable pitch, or does it have to be on? It has to be on. It has to be on. Yeah. Okay, I can't yeah. just move it by hand. No. <laughs> you can if you got about two before about that long. Uh, yeah. you, can, you can do it. All right. But uh, yeah, they're pretty well, a lot of pressure takes to get them over there. So I know that certain versions of the LS3 came with a dry sump. Like, looks like you just have a standard wet sump. Yeah, we use standard. Yeah. Great, great engines. Uh, you know, okay, as long as you're not doing loops and stuff, you don't have to worry about your engine exactly. getting starved of oil, right? Well, we, we don't, uh, we're not sort of, uh, you know, we don't even allow uh, people to do airbags with our stuff. Oh, yeah? Um, it voids the warranty. <laughs> oh, okay. Because uh, the wall pickup on here is on the bottom. There's no inverted oil. No inverted oil on the engine. Turn it over. The prop's going to go bad. The engine's going to go bad. <laughs> so, yeah. As long as they positive G, you're okay. All right. Negative G, forget it. Uh, and then is this a custom exhaust man uh, manifold here? No, they're all off the shelf. Uh, really? Just block hugger headers you can buy at any auto parts store. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what we do is we heat treat them out of powder coat them. Um, this whole set needs to be redone and replaced, and will be. I've got to rebuild this whole system sometime this next year. Okay. Uh, bring it up to the current standards. This is an old style. Uh, it has a radiator in the back right now. that doesn't work well on, on the ground. Yeah. What we've gone to is two radiators on the side, one on each side of it. Uh, and we move the motor mount in behind the uh, uh, headers yeah. to make the space. Okay, radiator here, radiator on the other side. Now this thing can sit out here on a 100 degree day, uh -huh. idling all day long, never will read. Okay, I'm surprised. So even with the blades turning, you're still uh, having overheating issues, huh? Yeah, uh, because there's not a whole lot of air coming through. Yeah, cowling and everything around yeah. there. Yeah, okay. You get sense. high pressure air you know, flying, yeah, it's okay. It'll work. But 
Yeah, you know, why not do something that works better on the ground? Okay. So that's what we're going to do. Is we're going to do that with the uh, radiators on the side. So, can you demonstrate it for me on this rig, then? Can you demonstrate it for me? Nope. No? Uh, the EAA, in their wisdom, says propellers at air shows are dangerous. Yeah. So we cannot crank and run it. Okay. Come to science plan on crank and run it for you. Yeah? All right. But not I mean, that's here. what this apparatus is built for, right? Yeah. Obviously, yeah. yeah. It's got a throttle here and an RPM gauge, so. Yeah. That screws so. pull off the side and you can run it. So wait, can you actually drive it around on air power? Uh, I mean, it's on a go-kart really. chassis, so. Not really. No? Uh, that's just to get it in out, out of the uh, trailer. Yeah, okay. Right. We do take applications occasionally for drivers. We haven't found anybody else. Haven't found anyone yet, yet, stupid enough yeah. to hit with their, with their blade or the blade or yeah, the propeller the that close to their height, yeah. Yeah, you know, right there, they just. Uh, It'd be an interesting in. seating position. You'd have to lay down, yeah. so. Okay. Oh, thank you. Appreciate your time. You bet. to San Francisco right now, Fishman's Wharf, you want to go up Marlin fishing, right? Yeah. What about Marlin fishing? You're probably more likely to get a These are, these are the weights, they got roller bearings in them, right? Yeah. So your counterweight, no, I don't, we don't, I don't have a slotted, you know, yeah, you got a slotted one right here. Fit, fits in here. Centrifugal force brings this out, and it's getting pinched between this one and here. When it pinches, it puts pressure on a pressure plate and engages the clutch. Okay, so what RPM does it happen at? 800 RPM. So right at startup, and they'll stay, you know, if you look in there, it's like a, hey, it's, I, I used to race cars, Chevrolets years ago. Um, when Hayes came out with the drag racing clutch, there's no slip. I mean, you know, it's either in or out. This thing grabs the 800 RPMs and stays engaged until you shut the engine off. Then, you, then the prop three wheels down. Hmm. All right, uh, the, the, the biggest, a couple of advantages to that. Number one, we got the polymer and spring springs. You know, double dampening on the springs here that helps with the harmonics, just like it does in your transmission on your car. So you could change the weights then off if you, if you had a different RPM motor or something like that. Well, well, you know, on, on, you know if it you wasn't fire, good enough. To well, if, when you fire up your car, okay, it goes vroom like this before the computer says, "All right, slow on down." Yeah. Right. So it's automatically. I mean, and the advantage is, is we're saving all kinds of several pounds on the starter. If you look at the starter on this engine, that starter is only that big yeah, around big like that. It yeah. doesn't. You know, you can pick it up like this. You know, I mean. You know, I remember the old Chevrolets and Fords like that, man, it was a struggle to get mm -hmm. that starter up in there and get it in place. And this thing doesn't weigh nothing, even yeah. even in a, a starter for a Continental. Yeah. Okay? But, you know, I mean, just just think about that. You're, you're cranking that prop, you know, and trying to get it over, so you have to have a big starter. And what's, what's, the, what's, what's the rule? Uh, 15, 15 blades and you let the starter cool off, right? Because, because it's trying to do that mass. And I fly a, a 56 Cessna 172 straight tail. A little bit of, you know, 300. Or, you know, Continental. You shut that engine down like that, and the wheels jump off the ground with that prop, trying to keep that engine going. It goes, whack, whack. You know, I can't remember what, uh, what these guys call it, but you know, it's, it's hops because that, uh, that blade is still trying to turn that engine over. Mm. This, you shut the engine off. I have and inertia. And the blade free, the blade free wheels down. You're not trying. It's not trying to turn them. So, it, you know, it's pretty rough on the airframe when that thing's going bam, bam, bam. Oh, I'd imagine, yeah. Yes, leaves jumping. You know, you watch some of these guys when they come in and shut these things off. You a lot of times you'll see about three bounces on that wheels that blades wind you down. Yeah, that's good wow, I'll look, yeah. For that, yeah. I'll look for that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there, there are other gearboxes out there, and they work pretty good. Except the only thing I don't like what 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 they're trying to do to handle the harmonics is they got a big rubber biscuit connected to the crankshaft and connected to the gearbox, and that's what they're using to try to dampen it. Yeah. All right. Well, they tried those in boats. They worked great in boats for a while. Yeah. You know, like the little drag boats or something like that, that torque and that prop. You know. But uh, 
this has been working in working since uh, well that's probably the reason they invented the damn thing right we, I mean my lays my little T's had a clutch you know? sure, sure. and, that, and that, it was more for it, was, it wasn't so you, that you could coast and change gears it was that for the harmonics between the transmission and the gear this this handles the harmonics between the blade the transmission and the engine and we got uh, well, the original one had 900 hours on it. Took, took the gearbox apart, and there was no wear inside the gearbox. Show, show us where that is. Let's, let's right, yeah. the video. Okay. I already took a look, but thank you.